just kidding. I only talk like that. <laughs> She's always wanted to say that. Earthlings. <laughs> Wells with a sense of humor. That's new. Hey, sharpshooter. You, you're handsome. I know. <laughs> I know. Likewise. Yeah, I'm sure. Harrison. Harrison. Call me HR. Mm. Okay. This is uh, Dr. Caitlin Snow. She is brilliant. Single. Don't. All right, that's my daughter. You don't have to shake her hand. Uh, that gentleman there is Wally West. This is Barry Allen, or as we call him on this earth, The Flash. Welcome to Earth One. Thanks. <laughs> Earth One. That's weird. <laughs> Okay, well, we don't have to stand on ceremony. We don't have to go through all the tears again, do we, gang? Right? Sumptuous day. Oh, no, on this earth, I believe you, you say... Good morning. Good morning. And it is. Isn't it? I mean... The music on your earth, while well, it strikes a chord, no pun intended, please help yourself. I find a crew works best when it's well-fed and well-rested. Are those coffees for us, too? Yes, indeed, Ms. Worst. <laughs> I took the liberty of reading through your ledgers last night. A lot of information to absorb, but let's see how I did. Skim milk, chai latte. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and an iced Americano with two, no, three. <laughs> Shots of espresso. Boom. That happened, Walter. It's Wally. Wally, now. For my fleet of foot friend. Oh, mm -hmm. you'd best stick to decaf. <laughs> Probably for the best, yeah. <laughs> San Francisco. I have prepared a French roast with a touch of creamer. Thank you. You're so welcome. Much. <laughs> Did you know on my earth, coffee crop was wiped out by blight? I mean, that's one more reason to stay on this earth for the coffee alone. Where is Caitlin? By yes, the way? so she seen? was here. She was. All right, yeah, you know, we talked and she what? knocked back a triple shot latte and she left you a message. So I'm gonna, uh, y'all, let me just play it for you. This is not the same as my earth. This is a different. There it is. Hey, it's me. Make sure Cisco doesn't touch my pizza pockets. Yeah, let's go. I got a bill. Oh. Uh, you know, we'll do the team building exercises. And I'll leave the clues here cool. in the facility. How do you guys say see you later over there? Uh, yeah. Until next communion. All right, see you later. See you later. It's so weird. I don't get it. I don't Every get it. meta-human we've encountered has been exactly that meta-human. So where did this thing come from? I don't know where it came from, man. I just, it, it just vanished. That's all I know. It was gone. Yeah, but in my experience, the, things are always different. What? On my Earth, we have ropes made out of carbon fiber. They are ultra-light, but strong enough to pull a battleship. We could restrain it with that. Right? What do you think? Okay. Well, okay. I think it's, uh... I think it's worth a shot. We can spin it down on the workshop. Yes, good. Yeah, there was something else that was weird, though. Uh, I, I saw a transformer. Ex the God of Speed. That is what weird. Weird about that. Monster didn't even lay a finger on it. It exploded before it got to it. Kind of reminds me of that Hitchcock movie where the extra covers his ears before the gun goes off. You have Hitchcock. Mm -hmm. this. Oh, brilliant. Murder on the Titanic. Who did it? Who cares? We're drowning. The beast must emit some kind of electrical pulses or way I could get a look at that transformer. The God of Speed. No, it's the whole place is a crime scene now with Julian in charge of it. Ah, Julian. Who's that? That's the, the CSI guy you don't like, right? I mean... Yeah, all right. Transformers are the key. No, I agree. Anytime it's the monsters have shown up, any nearby yeah. have exploded. They blow up. Car alarms keep malfunctioning, too. Car alarms, transformers, what is the connection? Yeah, we'll get there, fellas. We'll get there. We just gotta keep trying. Maybe hmm? someone's pulling power out of the transformers. The God of Speed. And using it to power the monster. Power, yes, the monster. That's it. 
Oh, you just beat me to it, San Francisco. <laughs> See, that can't be it, HR. Can't be it. Because we would have detected a surge in the power grid. We did not. Not if it was broadcast power, something like a portable Tesla tower. A portable Tesla power. Tower. Tower. That's what it is. Nice. Mm -hmm. Teamwork. Mm -hmm. So, P.S., where I'm from, on my earth, we call that a problem solved. I'm going to go for coffee. <laughs> my earth, the coffee was wiped out by light. light. Yeah. Can you imagine? He didn't really do anything, did he? Thank you. It's not there. HR, you need it in the speed lab now. He could be doing inversion stretches in the intake. You saw that too, huh? HR! He's not there. Probably just brewing another pot of coffee. It's all he drinks. Not that either. Okay. Why do you need him so badly? He's going through my stuff. But now he's just being stupid about it. Stupid about what? God, I swear I fixed the security system. Who the hell are you? HR. <sighs> Apologies. HR. See? Ah! What you've just been witness to with my partner's likeness, Randolph Morgan. Okay, I see what's going on here. You don't have facial transmogrification on this planet, do you? No, we certainly do not. Well, then, it's a good thing for me. I found this little contraption in my satchel. Forgot I brought it. It's so fun. So fun. How does this work? Light refraction technology. Light refraction? I think. I don't, you know, Randolph, my business partner, he's sort of more with the science, but this little sucker is going to go a long way to solving my Harrison Wells facial issues. I'm going to hang on to this until I get my power cuffs back. Wait, your power cuffs? You made a human power dampening cuffs? Those very ones, the ones that are missing all of a sudden. What, you, th you think I took them? I didn't take them. What do I need cuffs for? I just got to this earth. I came alone. I haven't met anyone yet. It's going to take a while, even when I do meet them, to get to the cuff stage. Hey, guys. <sighs> guys, I need you in the cortex. You did all this? Yeah. Well, I don't want to take all the credit. I'm too modest to do that, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Who exactly is paying for all this? <laughs> That's a great question. Olga! Allow me to introduce you to your new co-workers, everybody. This is Olga. Da. Hi. Hi. Oh, she doesn't really speak English so much, but she's great. So right over here, <laughs> we have the ticketing and the admissions. Over there are specialty coffees. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Caitlin. Initially, I had you targeted for ticketing, but it occurs to me with a few lessons in full mart, you could very well man up, excuse me, woman up, our cappuccino stand. What do you think? HR, I think Caitlin's going to have plenty to do, as it is. Can I ask you a question? Do you want to eat pizza pockets for every meal for the rest of your life? You don't. Nobody wants that. What you want is an income, and we, collectively, need a cover for Star Labs for our continued operation. He makes some good points. Now, for the piece de resistance. Welcome to Star Labs. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you make a hologram of me? Oh, French A is good. You made it perfectly clear you didn't want to be a tour guide. You're not. You're a virtual tour guide. Guess what? That falls under the umbrella of not wanting to be a tour guide. <laughs> On we go. My name is Francisco Pion. I wasn't always the esteemed engineer you received before you. It was my love of science that allowed me to overcome my tough upbringing and join Star Labs before our beautiful and handsome founder Harrison Wells stepped down. I hope my love of science will inspire some among you to join the scientific community. Wow. Thanks. Here's the thing. I don't sound anything like that. My love of science. My love of science. Uh -oh. My love of science. Yeah, I'm going to need you to take a look at that. I can't do that. Because <laughs> I have important things to do. So don't want to go to jail. So, yeah. I'm going to run in here and see you later. Where are you going? I called the local elementary school and gave the principal discounted tickets. I figured, hey, you know, if the kids love it, they'll tell their parents, and, well, the rest writes itself. You, and Jay Skull, are brilliant. Of course, science 
is what will inspire these children, not just the Flash, of course. Check it out. Welcome to Star Labs. My name is Francisco Ramon. I wasn't always the esteemed engineer you see before you, but after years of hard work and studying, I joined Star Labs. I hope my love for science will inspire them? some among you to join the scientific community as we strive to reach a new age for humanity. Thank you. You're very welcome. That hurt like a, like you ran into a giant wooden wall because you did. I, I I think I just forgot how handsome you were. Oh, I forgot. He's you're still here. Yeah, still here. I guess we have your technical and technical genius to thank for getting us out of that fix. No, like, no, nah, nah, nah. You were completely right about him. He's a total fraud, and he's not even a scientist, and I'm sure you couldn't even remember an ATM code if he tried. Oh, all, those, all those numbers, it's only four digits. Why is he still here? Because we couldn't do it without him. I thank you, Francesco. Fran Francesco. Don't ask. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, nice. What are you doing? Ah, oh, I'm decorating! Look at this place! <laughs> decorating the speed lab? Yes, I'm decorating the speed lab, you know, because Francesco, you know, he wouldn't let me decorate the Cortez because it made it look oh so jolly for Christmas time. What are the balls for? Do you know what those are? Lanterns? <laughs> you know what I always say. A fellow that can't tell the difference between balls and lanterns is in trouble when the lights go out. Oh. You go front to back. Toothbrushing. And you go front to back, because I'm a small circles kind of guy. I wonder how the other wells brush his teeth. The murderer. I'm fascinated by the subtle differences between us, you know? And the non so subtle ones. Like what? Like the fact that I'm a genius and you're a moron. Okay. See you at the. Wally just beat his personal best. Oh, Barry's putting him through the ringer today. Excuse Barry? Excuse me? Uh, yeah, I suppose it could be Barry. Or it could be his genius coach, whose sole purpose on this earth is milking epic greatness from those around him. Thank you very much. It could also be Jesse. What? Come on, Wally doesn't want to get beat by his girlfriend. Also, please just refrain from using milk as a verb from now on, please. You're supposed to get dizzy, Wallace. You're supposed to get exhausted on this route. It's supposed to simulate the stress that you're going to feel when you finally confront Savitar. So my suggestion to you is suck it up, Buttercup. Milking epic greatness. Yeah, no kidding. Why don't you take it down a little, Tiger Mom? Sorry for the, uh... <laughs> yeah, 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 me too. Good, laugh talk. Oh, me. Thanks. I shouldn't be surprised. Us Wells is... We are forces to be reckoned with. That we are. Mm -hmm. Thank you, HR. For what? Just being a friend. So, fun fact, uncovered by an intrepid Jesse Quick in her latest dust-up with the so-called God of Speed, guess who feels pain? What, what exactly are you saying? Are you saying that underneath the suit of armor that he's... Yes, James, he's not a god. He's just a man, baby. A man? Yeah. This 
Someone's coming through. Could be Gypsy. Could be. Could be. Supergirl. Kara. What happened to her? We don't know. But whoever did it has come to this world. I'm gonna go. I understand what you've been through. Stuck in the speed force, things you saw. I get it. I also know that sometimes the old adage is true. When you get bucked from the horse, best thing you can do, get right back on the damn thing and ride. Wallace, ride. Anyway, I'm sorry that I had to like mess with you a little bit. I was just trying to get you to play the game, do the song and dance. Are you from another uh, Earth multiverse universe or something? Yeah, you you wouldn't even understand where I come from. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, that's it? You're just gonna teach somebody else a lesson? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh. Think of your fellow man. Lend him a helping hand. Put a little love in your heart. Wait, so let me get this straight. You got whammied by some guy named... Music Meister. Damn, Barry, I'd have paid good money to see you singing and dancing. <laughs> uh, well, he's holding out on you because Barry has an amazing voice. He does. Uh-uh. I've actually seen him sing. What, you have? How have we not made a gif of that? Well, technically, I'm not even the only one here who can sing. Thank you, B.A. What, I was talking about Cara. Oh, you too? What are you doing in bed? It's a long story, HR. I have a long story. Yeah, how about you tell us where you've been? Her name is Rhonda, and she's in a new position. We did okay. the, uh, the... Oh my God, stop talking. You gotta let somebody know next time you decide to go on a two-day love romp. Who was worried about me? He was untouched. You'll be touched in the face with a hammer the next time you pull something like Guys, that. Guys, stop <laughs> it. Don't make me laugh or I'll bust my stitches. <gasps> is that line jello? It's all you, HR. Oh, are you serious? Oh, <laughs> I love the line. I love the line! You were really worried about him, weren't you? <laughs>